love this question around authenticity and voice. And it's probably because I am still and yet getting better myself at being even more authentic and having an even more true voice. So what I know about authenticity as it connects to your voice, and that's not your the way your voice sounds sometimes, it's, it's the way that you come across. It's the power of your voice, the power of your words. And what I know about that is that um, the most important thing I found for myself and for my clients is the confidence in your purpose and in your words and in your mission and in your vision. All of these things are really big words and they mean various things to various people. But at the underneath all of it, what kind of drags us down is a topic that Brene Brown talks about eloquently and really you need to, to, to listen to her on this topic, but that's shame. Shame brings us down and it brings us out of alignment and puts a damper on our authenticity and it doesn't allow our voice to come forward in a truthful and vulnerable and relatable way. So the most important thing that I know to do is to work on shame and to work on confidence and that allows for the authentic voice to come forward. It's like the purpose, the passion, the vision, all of that will percolate up if you know how to deal with the undercurrent of whatever causes you to feel shameful. We all feel shame. It's not a bad thing. I work with lots of uh, business professional uh, men who are in leadership executive positions and they will often tell me that they're super confident and that they have nothing to be ashamed of. And I am not there to tell them what to be feeling shameful about but I know that we all have that feeling and I know that we all struggle with that at some point. So the more we deal with that, the more the, the goodness and the passion and the thing that we want to be known for has an opportunity to come up and come out in a true, authentic and powerful way through our voice.